Choral Contest 2019. So, all right, so to formally start our event, uh, may I request everyone to please rise for the invocation to be led by Pastor Friends Hescha Lovejoy Kimpo Lesa. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, the Master Musician, source of every good and perfect gift, who gave us the blessing and opportunity to enjoy and be blessed by the gift of music. We are gathered here today for the final contest of this year's University Day celebration, the Choral Contest. We pray, O oh God, for all the contesting groups, the judges and the committees. May your name be glorified in everything that we do, and all this for your glory and for your honor. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, amen. And of course, please remain standing for the Philippine National Anthem to be led by Representative Zarian Shelyad Gulmatiko, conducting. You may not all be seated. <laughs> and of course, for his opening remarks, may I call on Pastor Roger T. Kimpel. Please give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have come to the final event, or the final contest of the liter literary musical. No? And we're so happy that we can have our choral contest. You know, uh, I think uh, most of you, or probably some of you, is so fascinated with singing with choir and choral. I sing in choir, I become part of something bigger than me. Uh, and so we're so happy that this afternoon we can have this choral contest. I know that uh, a lot of you have been preparing for this, and it is my prayer that not only that we will appreciate and enjoy that the Lord, the talent that the Lord has given us, but let us use this as an opportunity for us to worship Him and to glorify Him. We're so happy to have our board of judges who have come and join us. We are so thankful for their availability. And uh, also, I would like to thank you for each and every one who have been supporting uh, this uh, event. Uh, I would like to ask you to please cooperate and uh, uh, let's try to be quiet, especially during the performance of our team. Let's refrain from clapping during the performance so that it will not affect the way our judges are listening uh, to the parts and the beautiful parts of the choir. So again, I would like to welcome all of you uh, to uh, this beautiful contest. Thank you, Pastor. So, and of course, before we start, we would like to acknowledge the presence of our uh, Board of Trustees who are here, if there's any, and of course, our alumni, parents, teachers, and guests. So at this juncture, I would like to uh, read to you the guidelines for Choral Contest 2019. The contest is open to all academic units of Central Philippine University with only one choral group representing the college or unit and that all members must be, bo be bona fide students of this universities. Cross enrollees are not allowed. 
each participant group shall compose a minimum of 30 and a maximum of 40 singing members, including the senior high school department. The junior high school department shall be allowed a maximum of 50 singing members. The conductor is excluded. Each choral group shall perform the contest piece chosen by the committee and one optional piece. The contest piece composed of 60% 60 per, uh, 60 of the score and the optional piece is 40% of the score. The optional piece, piece shall be any foreign or Filipino songs. Ethnic songs shall be allowed provided the content is not religious in any ways. Foreign songs with lyrics besides the English language shall be submitted with English translation. The optional piece may be accompanied by live piano only. The, uh, no other instruments are allowed. The performance shall, exceed ten, shall not exceed 10 minutes. The time limit begins on the first note and ends on the last note of the piece. The method of performance is straight singing, which means that the members do not move from one point to another. They may move in place and, and, and only head, shoulders, arms, and feet gestures are allowed. Vulgar or rude movements are strictly not allowed. No hand props are allowed. Prior to the final submission, the optional piece shall be consulted to the committee. The, sh the theme shall be submitted in four copies on Aug August 30, 2019 at the Cultural Affairs Office. The lineup of choral members with their corresponding photocopy photocopied RFs shall be duly signed by the college or department dean principal and shall be submitted on September 9, 2019 at the Cultural Affairs Office. Choral members shall, shall come in appropriate costume or attire. They shall submit a sketch of their costume prior to the final submission on, on September 9, 2019. The committee has the right to suggest, change, and approve the costume. Teachers, staff, students, staff, alumni, and persons affiliated with these universities are recommended to train. Trainers outside the university may be allowed for a modest fee only. The profile of the trainer shall be submitted on September 9, 2019 at the Cultural Affairs Office. And of course, all requir requirements shall be enclosed in, in a long envelope and submitted directly to the Cultural Affairs Office. Choral groups shall not be allowed to practice outside the campus. The choral group shall be at the venue 30 minutes before the contest proper. Drawing of lots shall be held on August, 19, uh, August 14, 2019 at the Cultural Affairs Office. The scoring system shall be used in judging and the ranking system shall be used to determine the winners. In case of a tie, the modal system shall be used to determine the winner. The decision of the Board of Judges is final and appealable. Protest of any kind shall be entertained on cases of mathematical errors on scores and ranks. Violations of any contest rules and regulations shall mean disqualification of the choral contest group from the contest. And of course, last but not least, the winning group shall be requested to sing during the Thanksgiving service at the University Church. And now I will read to you the criteria for judging for choral. Voice quality or tonality, 25%. Blending harmony balance, 30%. Interpretation, expression, suitability, and difficulty, 30%. Stage presence, costume, choreography, 15%, a total of 100%. And of course, the criteria for judging for the best conductor. Rhythmic control, 20%. Musicality, 25%. Rapport with the, with the choir, 25%. And overall artistry and impact, 30%, a total of 100%. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So now um, I will introduce to you our board of judges this afternoon. So for our for, uh, first judge, she is a she is a bachelor of, uh, graduate of bachelor of secondary education, graduated from the uh, from West Visayas State University, and bachelor of music graduate from the University of San Agustin. She is also a former music director of various stage musicals at West Visayas State University. 
a former advisor trainer of the Panayana Cultural Group of West Visayas State University, an in-demand piano accompanist, and of, cor uh, of course, a presently a retired faculty and a dating granddaughter. So let's give her a round of applause, our first judge, Professor Elizabeth G. Nanyaza. So for our second judge, she is a uh, she took a doctor of philosophy and education management at West Visayas State University. Um, took his uh, took her masters of music in music education with Cognet in conducting at the University of the Philippines, Diliman, Quezon City. She's also a bachelor of music a graduate major in voice and and music education, minor in piano and choral conducting, respectively at the University of San Agustin Conservatory of Music, Iloilo City. She's also the chairman of the music division of the College of Pascar, West Visayas State University, advisor, director, trainer, conductor of West Visayas State University, Jimmy Canluran sa Visayas, the official choir of the College of Pascar, advisor, director, trainer, conductor of the West Visayas State University, Panayana Cultural Group, the official choir of the West Visayas State University. She's also a faculty of the College of Pascar Music Division. At present, she is the consultant and a part-time faculty of West Visayas State University. So give it up for our second judge. Please welcome Dr. Erlinda Ventilacion Bebit. And of course, for our third judge, I would like to request Pastor Kimbo to introduce him. Well, our third judge uh, is known to everyone as Boy. He graduated valedictorian in, from Leon Elementary School. He was a government scholar at the Philippine Science High School at Diliman, Quezon City. He obtained his Bachelor of Arts degree, major in philosophy, magna cum laude, and his Bachelor of Law degree, summa cum laude, from Central Philippine University, and placed uh, number 17 in the 1980 bar examinations. He served as provincial board member for the second district of Iloilo from uh, 1995 to 2001. And from 2004 up to 2010, uh, uh, and also from 2004 to 2010. And also as a senior executive assistant to the governor, province of Iloilo from 2011 to 2016. Earlier, he served as provincial uh, legal of, uh, officer of South Cotamato and as executive director of the League of Municipalities of the Philippines. He is a senior partner in the law firm of Bidona, Bidona, Cavado, and Indonila, and a professional lecturer in CPU College of Law. He is a long-standing member of the Arts Guild of Iloilo Incorporated and founding president of the Iloilo Theater Company. A multi-talented personality, he's a poet, a playwright, an actor, a producer, director, composer, arranger, lyricist and conductor, a speech and voice consultant, rhetorician, painter, sculptor, and designer, print and broadcast journalist and educator. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is my honor to present to you our third judge, Attorney Rodolfo Boy Valera Cavado. All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That completes our board of judges this afternoon. All right, so I think we're all set, so let's do a little temperature check. Maybe dito lang ako mag-temperature check kasi siguro bawal kayo sumigaw, pero depende na sa inyo. Sige. Supporters from the College of Business and Accountancy. Ayan. College of Nursing. I think we have a full house. College of Computer Studies. And of course, College of Theology. Wow, nasa taas. <laughs> Sige. College of Education. Department of Senior High School. 
College of Arts and Sciences. College of Medical Laboratory Science. Department of Junior High School. And of course, College of Engineering. And so there we go. That is, one, uh, that is our competing groups for this afternoon. So I guess let's not make this any longer. Let's start with competing group number one.
let's welcome on stage competing group number two. I'm 
Please welcome on stage competing group number three.
Since we have no competing group number four, let's proceed to competing group number five. Wrong! 
please welcome on stage competing group number six.
please welcome on stage competing group number seven.
three competing group number seven. Please welcome Sage competing group number eight.
competing group number nine.
Please welcome on stage competing group number 10.
feet Trying to abide in the strain and not awake Nothing's gonna stumble, stumble my feet But when my time or the this time Please welcome on stage, last but not the least, competing group number 11.
Thank you, competing group number 11. So that is our competing groups for this year's University Day Choral Competition 2019. Why died wonder 
So now I will be awarding the, uh, awarding the Certificate of Appreciation to our Board of Judges. So let me read the citation. Central Philippine University, Iloilo City, Philippines, awards the Certificate of Appreciation to Professor Elizabeth G. Nanyeza for a valuable service of significant contribution to make the 114th University Day celebration a meaningful and successful affair by serving as a judge. 2019 University Day Choral Contest. Given this 29th day of September, 28th day of September in the year of our Lord 2019 and the 114th year of Central Philippine University. Signed, Eric G. Lagradilla, overall chairperson, Tidoro C. Robles, University President, and of course, Engineer Diego Ferrer L. Garcia, CPUR President. So, may I request a uh, Professor Elizabeth Jean Nyeza to, and of course, Pastor Kimpo to give the award. S the same citation is given to Dr. Erlinda V. Bebit. And of course, same certificate reads, and is given to Attorney Rodolfo V. Cabado. Of course, so the board of judges are taking their uh, photo op. And may I request the competing colleges and departments to please occupy the stage. So we will first be awarding who will be this year's best conductor. And for the information of everyone, the best conductor will conduct to all the colleges and departments singing the contest piece. I believe that is the uh, tradition of Central Philippine University. I think we are all set. So who do you think is this year's best conductor or conductress? May I have a moment of silence, please? Okay, thank you. I will announce the candidates for best conductor or conductress. Can we have a little beat from the uh, EMC? <laughs>
Take your spot. College of Nursing. Please occupy the center stage. Candidate pa lang po. Wait lang po. Candidate pa lang po. Marami pa po kayong kasama. So take your spot. Please, at the center stage, please. Joining the College of Nursing is Department of Senior High School. Take your spot, College of Medical Laboratory Science. And of course, last to enter the groups for uh, best male, uh, best conductor and conduct conductress. Sorry, this is not a pageant. Please join them. College of Engineering. Can we have a big cheer from the College of Nursing? Senior High School! College of Medical Laboratory Science! And of course, College of Engineering! I will only announce who will be this year's best conductor or conductress for your uh, for the uh, information about the ranking you can ask our tabulators right after the event are you ready is everyone ready best conductor or conductress Best conductor and conductress or conductress is from Before that I would like to thank the parents and guests who are here and of course um, my committee and of course software engineering EMC Best conductor and conductress is from the College of Nursing! So 
for the information of everybody, again, this is the tradition of the Central Philippine University, University Day Choral Contest. Take your spot, conduct the contest piece. Uh, may I request uh, the, someone to give the uh, notes? <laughs> Check, check. <laughs> College of Nursing, this is your time to shine. Have it, ladies and gentlemen, best conductor from the College of Nursing. And now this is the moment of truth. I will first announce the runners up in no particular order. Runners up. College. College of Engineering. Again, this is in no particular order. Junior High School
College of Business and Accountancy. Still on the runners up. College of Computer Studies. And of course, again, to the information, everyone, to, those, to the college or the departments who will not be called, meaning you will be qualified for the top three. Again, to those college and departments who have not been called, you are qualified to the top three. Still on the runners up. College of Arts and Sciences. Again, this is in no particular order. We only have two runners up left. Will the title be remained from the Department of Senior High School? Or may ibang makakasungkit ng... Okay. Still on the runners up. College of Theology. One left. Will it be a college or a department? Again, this is in no particular order. Runners up. Is it a college or a department? I am sorry. College of Education. So, top three, in no particular order, we have College of Nursing, Senior High School, and CMLS. Is everyone ready? I will announce the second runner up and first runner up. The college or department who will not be called will be this year's University Day Choral Champion. Again, a question to everyone. Will the title remain? to the Department of Senior High School? We will see in a while. Second place. Second place. Top three na po tayo. We will be announced. I'm sorry, second runner up. I believe this is a place na po. It's because we will be awarding second, first, and champion. So this is already the top three. Second place, first place, and champion. Is that clear to everyone? Okay. Second place. Again. To the department or college who will not be called, you will be considered as the, this year's champion for University Day Chorale. And for more information about the tabulators, you may visit or ask our tabulator, our tabulators right after the event. Second runner-up, 
is from the College of Medical Laboratory Science. And now, I will be announcing the first place. Again, to the first runner-up, or first place. Again, to, those to the college or department who will not be called, you will be considered as this year's University Day Choral Champion. First place. Our first runner up. First runner up, Department of Senior High School. Congratulations, College of Nursing. You are this year's Corral Champion. Congratulations to everyone, to the college and department who participated for this year's Coral Champion. You really did your best. God bless you, everyone. Once again, this is Senator Ali, and I will, I'm your host for this year's Coral Contest 2019. Have a blessed night, everyone. Thank you.